Alright everybody, welcome back to the channel and welcome to today's video. In today's video, we're going to be going over something recently added to Bamboo Studio that's also been available in Orca Slicer for a while that helps us with those seams that we get on our prints from the place where uh, the printer starts and stops each new layer. If it does that in the same place, it leaves a little seam on our print and that might not be um, what you're looking for and you might be looking for a way to actually get rid of those seams. Um, so the scarf seam has been in Orca Slicer for a while and in 1.9.1 in Bamboo Studio, it was added and improved on. Um, so we'll take a look at the release notes on that in Bamboo Studio and what it promises to do. And we'll take a look at um, what it actually does on a little cylinder that I made that we can print to look at the little seams. Also, while I was looking into this, I saw that there's several different options for seams in there. So I thought it'd be good to take a look at a couple of those and um, print out that same cylinder to see what all of those differences are so that you can decide what is best for um, your upcoming prints and um, getting rid of that seam or uh, moving it into a different place. So if all that sounds good, then sit back and relax and I'll get everything ready. All right, so here we are on the Bamboo Lab Wiki. And if we go into the 1.9.1 release notes here, we'll see that there's an improved scarf seam here. You'll see that the scarf seam is, use, is a useful seam to hide seams for objects with few corners, where the seam joint is not a single point as the other seam, but a short slope. Um, you could see that it was originally an Orca slicer, and there's a um, link to the GitHub uh, page to show everything about this different stuff. But I thought this picture does kind of a good um, example of what it's attempting to do. Um, so, you know, things that are, you know, round that don't have a lot of corners, um, it has to start and stop somewhere um, in order to you know, to print each layer. So that leaves a seam if it does it in all of the, you know, in the same place every time. So you'll see the scarf seam before the improvement. So you see it smooths it out a little bit there. And then after the improvement, it smooths it out there. Um, so we'll go ahead and print, um, you know, without any scarf seam and then with the scarf seam and um, see what that looks like. So let's go ahead and go to Bamboo Studio and I'll show you what I'm talking about. All right, so here we are in Bamboo Studio, and we have um, a little cylinder that I made in Fusion 360, so we can take a look at the seams on everything here. And where you're gonna find that is under the Quality tab and under Seam here. So you'll see in the default, is seam position is aligned. All right, seam gap 15%, and you'll see that the scarf joint seam experimental is set to none. Um, and then there's some conditional scarf joint and different things like that. This is the default settings right here. And the only things that we're really going to be messing with is the seam position and this scarf joint seam right here. And we'll take a look at what that does to the seams in our print. So under the default settings right here, let's go ahead and slice the plate. And you'll see right here is the seam and it's aligned. Um, one thing to take note while we're here, we won't look at these other ones, but I can also move that seam to the back. So if I wanted that seam to be on the back side of my print instead of on the front, I can do that as well. So you can see that it moved it back there. So let's go ahead and revert back to normal on there and hit slice plate and we'll see that the seam is there. It's gonna take about 26 minutes to print. So I'll go ahead and uh, get it printed and I'll see you when it gets done. Check out the cylinder with just a normal seam. It's just a normal seam, normal seam. All right, <clears throat> so there you can see on the normal setting, you can see how it leaves a seam right there when we leave it on alignment. So let's go ahead and leave it on alignment and try it with the scarf seam. All right, so here we are back in Bamboo Studio. As you saw in the video, 
um, you know, the aligned here does leave a very sharp line in there that you can see. So now let's try, we'll leave the um, seam position on aligned, and this time we'll go ahead and turn the scarf on for the contour, and let's see what that does to the print. Didn't add very much time, we still see a little bit of a line here, a couple little white dots there. So let's take a look and um, see what this does when it prints, and I'll see you when it gets done. I'm just a scarf. I'm just a scarf. All right, and as you can see, it does smooth it out a little bit. You'll see right between those two lines there is where the scarf is. So this is what it looked like before. So you can see there's almost like a straight line to now. You can see that that seam is almost gone. But it's not all the way gone. You can still see it there. So let's try some other settings in there, um, like the random setting. And let's see if the random setting smooths that all out. All right, so here we are back in Bamboo Studio. So as you saw, it does get rid of that line. Um, it smooths it out a little bit, but it doesn't get it all the way. So now let's put this back to normal and let's try one of these settings that we were looking at in here or saw in here before, random. And when we slice this, you'll see all of these little white dots all over the places. So that's the starts and stops for all of the different places, um, you know, that it's gonna do that. So it spreads that out instead of it being in a line in, a, in the front or in the back or something like that. It just makes it random all over. And you'll see it doesn't change the time or anything like that. So let's go ahead and get that printed and I'll, and see what that does. I'll see you when it gets done. All right, so as you can see on the random, it does leave it. I'm not sure how well the camera's gonna pick this up. Maybe I can adjust the settings but you can see little tiny uh, dimples or whatever where it stopped and started randomly on each layer. But I will say it does smooth it out um, quite a bit. So if you're looking to not have that straight line on there, um, this might be an option for you. Um, so now let's try the random and the scarf and see if it takes out these little tiny imperfections in there. All right, and the last one that we'll try in this short video today is to use the random still and then turn the contour on. We'll go ahead and slice that and you'll see the dots all over, but we'll see if it kind of smooths those dots out and everything doesn't add any time to the print or anything like that. Um, so we'll take a look at that and I'll see you when it gets done. All right, so I will tell you this is the best looking one out of all of them. You can still see some tiny imperfections, but you really, really have to look at it, um, which is pretty, pretty cool. So I will say um, the random and the scarf really smooths out all of those little stop and start places uh, for all of the different layers. So I hope you found this uh, video useful today, and this helps you with your next print. If it does, then go ahead and smash that like button. Be sure to hit the subscribe button so you don't miss my next video. And I'll catch everybody on the next one. Thanks for watching, everybody. Mm -hmm.